Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because we are going to be talking about my Sephora VIB recommendations. So as you guys know, it is that time of the year, the holiday season is among us. And every year Sephora does a huge VIB event where you get discounts, which is very exciting. So I'm going to be going through my top picks, what I recommend for you to check out during the event. So anyways, really quick before we get started, because let me be honest, Honest, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I haven't done a favorites in like two months, so it's a lot of stuff. But anyways, <laughs> if you are new to my channel, then hello, welcome. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. I do post three times a week. So Wednesdays, Fridays, and then mail hauls every single Monday. Also stay tuned because I typically do a humongous haul video. I'm excited to jump in this video, so let's get started. Okay, so I do want to mention really quick that this video is sponsored by Top Cash Back. They are one of my favorite ways to get a bigger discount when I shop, especially at an event like this. And a lot of times they offer a bigger percentage back than most any other website, which is really great. So the way that Top Cash Back works is they are a website that gives you money back into your bank account. We are already shopping online, so we might as well get the most bang for our buck or get our bucks back, right? So the way I see it is if we're shopping the Sephora event, right? We're already getting a discount on makeup, right? And then we're getting money back on the makeup that we're buying at a discount. And then that way we can buy more makeup. Does that make sense? Do you guys follow me? <laughs> so the way that Top Cash Back works is to sign up. It's so super easy. You go onto their website, you basically type in an email and you're going to create a password. It's going to email you a verification code. You click it and you're done. So when you want to start getting money back on your purchases, you'll go on their website and they have over 4,000 different retailers, which I think is so freaking awesome. And what you'll do is type in whoever you're going to shop with. So let's say Sephora. Type in Sephora. Sephora, it will take you to the website and you are good to go. When you check out, it's actually going to give you a percentage back on your purchase. Another thing I really like about them is they are not US only, which I find a lot of things are like that. So it's open international for all of my international makeup lovers. You can get cash back, not just on makeup. Again, they do have other websites available as well. And the other thing is it doesn't take a super long time to get your money back. It can take between four weeks and three months. But as soon as the money is available to you, there's no minimum. It will show up in your top cash back account and you can transfer it to your bank whenever it's available. You don't have to wait on a check or anything like that. So top cash back is going to be my first recommendation because it's going to get you more money back on all the goodies that you want to buy at the event. So let's move on to makeup recommendations. Now I just want to fair warn you guys that I have been saving my top cash back money to shop this sale. So I definitely am going to be going a little ham and I'll have a huge haul up for you guys soon. But anyways, I have skincare products, makeup products, hair care products. I mean, you name it, I probably have it in this video because I have a lot to recommend. But the first thing that I've been loving is the Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Eye and Face Palette. That is a mouthful. But basically, this is a palette that has four different shades and I have been loving this shade especially. So the first shade that you have is a blinding highlight. You have a peachy blush. Oh my gosh, these smell like peach too, which is amazing. You have a really pretty bronzy shimmer shade. And then you have my favorite, which is a blush. Oh, this just screams perfection. I love it so much. It has been one of my obsessions lately. And here are all of those colors swatched. Love it. It is such a good palette. And again, you have like a bronzer, a blush, you have another blush topper, and then you have a highlight. And I even use this one a lot of times for a lid shade on the eyes, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to be all over with these recommendations. I'm not just going to do makeup and then do skincare. It's going to be kind of everywhere. But the next recommendation I have is the Glow Recipe. And this is the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. And I've actually been using this quite a bit. It doesn't even look like it because I haven't went through that much. 
but it is a really nice cleanser. It gets pretty foamy and it smells like blueberries, which I don't know. I'm like so into scented things lately. I don't know what's going on, but I really do like this. Glow Recipe has some really good products, but this one has to be my favorite. Again, it is a makeup erasing and deep cleansing gentle cleanser. And to me, it's just a really good everyday cleanser. Okay, next thing is something that I haven't opened. So let me explain. This is the Lancome by Facial and this is the Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. So I don't know what has taken me so long to try this out, but I had one of those like sample things that came in, I don't know, like a Sephora bag or something that they send you as like a point perk. And I don't know what took me so long. Like I'm kicking myself in the butt for not trying it before then. This stuff is no joke. Like I love the Bioderma cleanser and I always swore by that. I thought it got my makeup off so good. I use this and I'm like, what is life? What did I do before this? I don't even know. So I have the big size of it and I haven't even cracked this open because I'm still using the little bottle that I have. But you guys, it is so amazing. It just like one swipe and it gets all of your makeup off and it just gets it off so good where you don't have to like go in and like harshly rub your eyelashes. I mean, it is amazing. I don't know. What was I doing before, honestly? I'm so hype over all this stuff I'm sharing with you guys. <laughs> okay, all right, the next one. Oh, this is my baby. This is the Hot Trist Cheek Palette by NARS. Who I have been going in on this and you cannot even tell. This is a beautiful travel palette in my opinion because you have four different blushes and two different highlights and I use it every single day. I mean, not only is the packaging gorgeous and the inside is gorgeous as well but wait till you guys see these shades they are so pretty so there are those three and there are those swatched and then here are these three and here are these three swatched they're like super super creamy they blend into the skin instead of sitting like on top of the skin and i don't know you guys i'm just obsessed right now with this nars killed it on their holiday collection this year okay so the next palette is one that was on sale. I think it was around $27 plus you get the discount on top of that. But this is the Becca Be A Light palette. I feel like I don't hear as many people talk about this, but I personally love it. I mean, you can tell by the sides. Honestly, I need to like scrape that off, but you can tell it's been getting some love. So what this palette is, is you have a bronzer, you have kind of, I don't know what they're really calling these. You have a Brighton powder, a blur powder, a blush, and a contour. But I think these are just really nice, finely milled shades. Here are the blur and the bronzer. And then you have the contour, which is my personal favorite. It's like a super dark shade. And then you have the blush shade. Don't really get a ton of use out of the blush shade. But for me, these colors are just really easy to kind of sweep on the face. I took this to New York with me, used it every single day. The blur powder is really good to go up underneath your eyes or just lightly dust all over your face to kind of set your powder. The contour shade I love for bronzing all over the face. And then the blush shade is a really nice shade. I just typically don't normally grab for that. But for me, I've been getting a ton of use out of these three shades. And I think this palette's are really awesome. I don't know why it went on sale so soon because I feel like it was definitely worth the full price tag. But especially because it's on sale, I want to mention it because it's been something that I've been using and abusing. Oh my gosh, let's talk foundations. Okay, where are we? Okay, I'm going to recommend three foundations for y'all. And one of them you've heard me talk about a ton of times. So we'll start with that one. This is the NARS Radiant Foundation. And I cannot say enough good things about this. If you guys have watched me for a long time, you know I used to be a ride or die Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like living, breathing, everything Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this has actually replaced that for me. It is very full coverage, but it has like a little bit of dewiness. It really stays put on the skin for a long time. And I'm talking about I could work like a 12 day shift, a 12 day shift. Okay, not that long. <laughs> <laughs> I can work like a 12 hour day and come home and my makeup still looks beautiful. I can wear it out. It just lasts a long time. Beautiful on the skin. I personally have bought five bottles of this. That is so sad. I've already went through one and a half, almost two bottles. And then I have this shade, which is Stromboli. I have Aruba, which is my summer shade. And then there's another one. I cannot remember the name of it. That's like my in-between shade. 
I might be mixing those up. But either way, I have went through so many. I have so many different ones of this because I use it and I love it. Next one is the It Cosmetics CC Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. Whoa, girl, that's a lot. But basically, this is a full coverage matte CC cream, but I don't know why they call it CC cream, honestly, because to me, it's a full coverage foundation. If you liked the It Cosmetics CC cream, but it wasn't, I don't know, matte enough for you, like maybe it made you oily, you would really like this. It's on the thicker side, so you don't want a ton of it whenever you first put it on, and for me, I do have to be kind of hydrated when I put it on, but it stays in place, it lasts all day, and the most important part for me is full coverage. <laughs> And the very last one is the one that I have been loving the most lately. It's one that I've been wearing every single day. And this is the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. Now, I'm not sure if you can wear this for 24 hours because I haven't tried it. <laughs> but for me, it lasts a really long time. It does stay matte all day and the coverage is just beautiful. This has been out for a long time. I don't know what took me so long to try it out, but I'm really glad that I did because, again, it's one of my favorites. So these three are like my babies right now. I absolutely love them. And I would recommend them to anybody that likes full coverage foundation because I'm a full coverage girl, you know? Okay, what else do we got? I mean, we have a lot still. Ooh, okay, let's talk hair care. Okay, so I typically don't really talk about hair care that much. I love Riogio. They're a hair care brand that I really love. I do love Bumble and Bumble as well. But when it comes to shampoos and conditioner, I normally don't stray. I'm fine using like thickening creams and oils and deep conditioners and leave-in conditioners and anything else. But I don't know. For some reason, I cannot get over my Herbal Essence shampoo and conditioner. That's probably making most of you guys cringe. I know it does that for most people. But there's just something about the consistency, like the... I don't know. I don't like a conditioner that feels like runny, like water. And I feel like a lot of high-end ones kind of feel like that. Anyways, I have found a love. <laughs> this is the Briogeo Be Kind, Be Gentle Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is a set that you can get at Sephora. I think it's around $49, which is pricey. You get 12.5 ounces in each of these. Like I said, you guys, I have been on that kick of things that smell, and this smells like green apples. But other than that, I do really like it. It makes my hair feel super like replenished and just hydrated. And that's the reason I like the other shampoos that I normally use because it's a hydrating shampoo. But I really like this. I know this is crazy, but like this is one of the shampoos that I have actually enjoyed using when a lot of times some of them make my hair feel dry. Not from Briogeo. I haven't tried any from Briogeo. I have one. I actually visited one of the PR firms in New York and got to take home a couple different ones from Briogeo that I'll try. But yeah, so far, this has been a favorite. I've been using it quite a bit. As you can tell, I don't do the rule where it's like, hey, you need to do half the conditioner as you do shampoo. Like I'll use this whole bottle up before I use half of this. That's how that works. But I've really been enjoying this. And again, that's the Briogeo Be Kind, Be Gentle Superfood Conditioner and Shampoo. Had to pull that out of the shower to show y'all. Okay, next thing is from Beauty Bio. And I think they just now started being sold in Sephora. I saw it in the like new section. I'm like, yes! So this is called, I think it's a jade roller is what they call it. But basically it's a skin, let me just look it up so I don't sound like an idiot. <laughs> I know I love it. I just need to tell you guys exactly how it works. <laughs> Sorry, I wanna make sure I'm being proper whenever I explain this to you guys. This is a contouring and depuffing rose quartz roller. So it's 100% solid Brazilian rose quartz with dual ended roller to help visibly contour, depuff, and seal in skincare for face and body. It's solutions for dullness and uneven texture, pores, and puffiness. What I do is I'll do my skincare and I will go in and I'll literally roll this across my face. And you know how a lot of people are using like mini fridges and stuff for their skincare? Don't even need that because this, even when like I don't have it anywhere but out in the open, it is freezing cold. 
I don't know why, but oh, it feels like heaven on your face. So I absolutely love it. Again, I've been using it in conjunction with my skincare, but I think it's awesome. And you have this, which you can use like underneath your eyes and for like smaller crevices of your face. But yeah, the Beauty Bio Jade Roller. I love it. Okay, next thing is the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette. And here is what this looks like. You guys know me. I love like the purple, pink, cherry type vibes and I have been loving this. I actually did a full review of it, but to me, this is probably one of the best naked palettes that they have made. I don't really love the naked palettes only because I don't like, you know, it's just the same thing over and over again. We kind of have like the same packaging, the same shapes and everything else, but nonetheless, the colors are beautiful. You cannot deny that and it has just been right up my alley for these like purpley smoky looks that I like to do as you can see I have on purple today it's just kind of my thing but the Naked Cherry has definitely been my favorite Naked palette of them all we are still going okay next thing we have this video is going to be long this is from Jouer and this is the Rose Gold Blush Duo and these two shades are really really pretty I love the Jouer blushes they have some duo blushes that you you can find on the Sephora website. And honestly, I love Jouer products. They have some really, oh, I just love that. Really good concealers. I don't know if that's out yet, but I have been using that. Um, they have a really awesome foundation. The blush duos are awesome. They have ones that are bronzers too. They have amazing highlights. Okay, their whole dang line is amazing. So if you are wanting to try out anything Jouer, I give you the go ahead because I love their products. Another one that is new to Sephora is Charlotte Tilbury. And I've been thinking about getting some of those. Maybe some foundations. Let me know if you guys have her foundation. The magic one, I think, is the one I want to try out. So next thing we have is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow. I'm so glad I found this because, you guys, I had lost this one. I couldn't find it. And it was, like, literally tucked underneath my vanity. This one almost makes my brow hairs a little bit lighter, which I love because, I don't know, it's a hard life living with uh, blonde hair because my brows, I feel like if I had dark brows, it would make life easier, like if I had dark hair. I was honestly contemplating that today on the way to work. Like, should I get dark hair? But anyways, this one almost gives them like a highlighted effect. Has a really teeny tiny wand, so it just really gets like up into the brow fibers and the brow hair. And it really locks them in place. I mean, they won't move. And it just gives you that umph that you need. So this is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Gel. I'm in the shade Haze. Okay, next product we have is something I've been using all year long since I got it. And it honestly is probably one of my favorite highlights this year. This is the Mean Money and Hustle a Baby Kilowatt Highlight by Fenty Beauty. I haven't really like got on the Fenty Beauty train. Not that I don't like her products, but it's just... I don't know. It's not like I see them and I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot live my life without them in it. But this one is the really pretty highlight. It is, oh, if I can get it open. That one is the Hustle of Baby. Mean Money's okay. It's not my favorite. I don't know why. It like, really looks like crap right now when I'm swatching it. It's like a little bit lighter, but I don't, it's not doing it justice. Let me see if I can like put this on my face. I literally don't know. Okay, here's a highlight brush. I just don't feel like it's doing it justice on my hand. And I want you guys to see the beautifulness of it. I mean, hopefully you guys can see. You see? Well, I mean, I was pretty blind in anyways, but yeah, it just gives you like a really pretty highlight. I mean, dang, that highlight's a little bit lower than it needs to be. I was kind of half asleep when I did my makeup tonight. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. That one's like the only thing I really have for Fenty Beauty, but I do love it. Next, we have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I actually really like this. I think it's a really good palette, especially if you're on the go. I wish Urban Decay would have done this with like the Naked Cherry or something. First off, the packaging, I just love it. It has all kinds of different places all around the world. It's so unique, so not like Urban Decay packaging, but it's very, very sturdy. It has a really nice mirror, super big, lightweight, you know, you can do your makeup on the run with it. And you have a bunch of different colors. So I love that you have, 
you know, your matte shades kind of at the top. You have some brow bone highlights or you could actually use those on the lids. You have pops of color. You have like warm tones. You have a couple cool tones, but the pigmentation in this palette is really, really nice. It blends really easy. And like I said, it's really good quality, especially if you want to travel with it you know, it's going to be there for you. I mean, I don't think if I dropped this that it would break, but I wouldn't try that at home. But yeah, the colors are super gorgeous. That's just four shades swatch. Let's do four more. Okay, there are four different shades and there are those swatch. So again, just really gorgeous, creamy, pigmented, blendable shades. And I've really been liking this. I really like the this shade right here kind of blended onto the brow bone if I'm doing more of like a gold look. But yeah, I love this. I think Urban Decay did an amazing job with it. I hope they come out with more like similar to this. I would love that. Okay, we're getting down to the last four things. This is so sad. Okay, this is another NARS Holiday, and I just want to recommend this because I think it's great if you guys don't already own this shades, but this is the Orgasm Infatuation. You have Laguna, you have Orgasm, the blush shade, and then you have Orgasm Highlight, but oh my gosh, look how gross that pinky finger is. Okay, but these three shades are really pretty, especially the highlight. Like, the highlight kills it. I don't know where the highlight has been my whole life. And I think my hands are like wet because the blush shade is not swatching very well. And I'm not sure why. Okay, there we go. I don't know why. They actually show up way better than these are swatching right now on my hand. But you get three different shades. Really good for travel again. And I just think these are three like NARS staples. So if you don't have them, this would be a really great way to pick it up. And not only that, but the packaging is gorgeous. I just love this. And I have been using it quite a bit. The next two items are from Huda Beauty. Beauty. And this is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Baking Powder. I think that's what it's called. Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I've loved this. I don't think I've been using this shade. I think I grabbed one of them. I think I might have grabbed the wrong shade up front. But anyways, I've been baking with this. I've been using it as an all over setting powder. It works wonders. I think it's so great. And it really like soaks into the skin. So I've been loving this. And it kind of brought me back to baking because for a long time, I just was not about that life. Then any shade, any color, no matter what, this is like my number one lip product for the year. This is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte. This one that I have right here is in the shade Shio. And I don't even know what color this one is because I just grabbed one. But here's what that looks like. These are so pigmented and creamy and they just feel so good on the lips. I cannot say enough good things about them. They make me want to wear lipstick every single day and they're just so comfortable and moisturizing. I just, I could go on and on and on and we would be here until the sale ended if I kept talking about them. But yeah, there's that. I would recommend it any and every shade that they have. They're so gorgeous. And then the very last one's kind of boring, but this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. What took me so long to try this? I don't know, but I have really been liking it. It's nothing like life-changing, but it's been filling in my pores and it's one of those that doesn't get like super bally on me. And if you know what I mean, some of the pore minimizing primers they like ball up on your skin but this one I've just been using a little bit I've been really pressing it in and it's been working really well so that is a mouthful I hope that you guys enjoyed my recommendations I know I had so many I've been thinking about doing a top holiday kits haul like top 10 or whatever I want to keep doing videos, especially while the sale's going on. I'll have all the links and discount codes down below, but the event is this weekend for Rouge, next weekend for VIB, and then the next weekend for Beauty Insider. So lots of time to shop and save money. And also make sure, again, check out Top Cash Back. They will be linked down below. So that way you guys can get a big percentage back on all the money that we're spending, because I don't know if y'all are like me, but I go ham when this event comes around. So as always, I love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you're getting at the sale and then let me know what you recommend I pick up. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.